Hey YouTube fam, welcome to Is That Your Hair? Today's video is very special because I'm collabing with my boo thing, Kira, body by Kira. Y'all make sure y'all go show my girl so much love because literally she be slaying these wigs up and down these YouTube streets. Literally every single wig she touches turns to gold. Outside of YouTube, Kira has also been so encouraging and supportive of me. And I really appreciate that. So Kira, thank you so much for joining me for Is That Your Hair Holiday. Make sure you go show my girl some love. Everything will be linked in the description box. So now let's get into Utre Julianne 24. Alright, so I just cut the lace off. We're going to toss her on with the elastic band. And just see... What we're working with. Oh, this is a snug fit, honey. Oh, wow. Woo wee! Julie Ann, Julie Ann! Now, of course, y'all know we do not just throw on wigs without doing some type of customization. But I can see the vision already. Like when. When this, this is over, ooh, she's gonna look stunning. <laughs> she's gonna look so good. Look at this parting space, y'all. Look at that. 13 by six. Ooh, we ran into a track. All right, be careful now. Then you can flip her over. Oh. <laughs> Yo, ooh, Trey. Okay, and I also got Julianne in this ginger brown color. Oh, but per usual, I'm always running out of time as of late when I'm filming. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to have time to put that on before the sun goes down. But what's the hairline looking like? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like it's pre-plucked, but it doesn't look that pre-plucked. But I will say it is very snug with this elastic band on. Like potential for your temples to be pulsing snug so i don't think you need the last band with a larger head all right so i'm gonna fix up julianne 24 bit i'm gonna do it glueless and then after that we're gonna get into the fake scalp so if you're ready for that just keep watching i'm gonna let the music come in All right, y'all, so we are back with Miss Julianne 24. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me tell you, when Julianne first came out, I remember being so excited. Julianne, however, came ready, honey. She came ready to see me. This is like the hair of my dreams. <laughs> and I was like, yo, Ultra needs to put like a textured unit on their 13 by 6 frontals. I'm pretty sure Julianne was Utre's first textured frontal unit within the past few years at least. So, uh, she's glorious. Oh my goodness. These barrel curls are wonderful. Wow. As you can see, I'm wearing her glueless, right? I am using the elastic band. It is snug. <laughs> 
So again, if you have a larger head, you might wanna might wanna cut that out. But it's definitely helping with this glueless install. I already knew I was gonna like this wig because I'm a huge fan of Julianne. I have her in two colors, and I already saw some of my wig base slay hair, so she's just my kind of unit. Now she is a lot of hair. She's definitely a bit lengthy on me, like falls to me like a good at least 22 inches. And as you can see, I'm wearing this sweater, right? As most of us are during this time of year, just know that if you are new to synthetic wigs, they will tangle, they will shed. However, sweaters like these kind of speed up the process. <laughs> synthetic wigs do not like cotton and cashmere and wool. Like, no, those fabrics will pull at your strands. It doesn't stop me from wearing synthetic wigs with them. I, I'm just aware. I just know what I'm working with. That's why I always got to keep a bottle of this Simply Styling Spray, y'all. The silicone spray definitely helps me maintain my wigs. It minimizes tangling. Not saying it's not going to tangle at all, but it definitely minimizes it. I like to just hit the nape right over here. For preventive measures, I'll spray it all around, finger comb through, and then I'm out the door. Go grab you some if you haven't already. A lot of you have, and you already know how well it works, but for those who are new, I'm trying to put you on game, okay? I'm not gonna steer you wrong. So, let's talk about this fake scalp. This is what the scalp is looking like. I didn't even put powder in it because I'm just trying to show y'all what's gonna happen. I did this before. The first time, the scalp was looking a little bit orangey, but I think I got my scalp color down packed now because I've been practicing it. What you're gonna need for this fake scalp is got to be glue and a powder. Now, when I got the color right, I didn't have a powder this color, so I literally just used this foundation shade, CoverGirl, in the color D70. By the way, everything I'm using is linked in my description box, so check it out. I'm gonna use these together, mix it up. So let's start making this fake scalp together and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. So here I have my got to be glue and I put it inside of a shot glass. I probably squeezed it out like four times because I was doing a whole frontal area and I wanted to make sure I had enough coverage and then here you see me going in with the cover girl foundation in the color d70 i did maybe like five pumps and i just started swirling it around with my rat tail comb and you can see that the consistency does become a paste and then you can just start applying it on your frontal now be mindful you will notice some holes some gaps there but you can just take more of the paste and lightly cover it over because ideally you don't want any holes to show but again, progress, not perfection here. I also did apply the paste closer to the hairline just because I wanted to see if I could like make it blend with a thinner layer. And you will see how that comes out later. <laughs> but yeah, this is how the paste is looking like. It's starting to dry. This is what it looks like on the outside and also on the inside. I did go in with my travel size blow dryer on a cooler setting and I just let it dry and this is what it looks like 90% dry. All right, y'all, so I am back. I've been blow drying this for what seems like forever. Ideally, if I had more time, I would just let this sit out overnight and call it a day. But you know, I had to move quickly today. But yeah, this is probably like 90% dry and you see this is, this is, um, this is looking like a scalp, y'all. And I think the color is looking a little bit better than the last time like what like what okay you know i'm ready to see what this is hitting for for real for real so let's put her back on oh shit see you gotta be careful i keep this is not fully dry so oh my god i got some on my fingers but that's okay okay let's see what's about to happen with this Get a little closer, y'all. Oh, okay, y'all. So, as you can see, I put some of the fake scalp up here. I was just trying to see something, but I'm gonna have to cover that, blend that back in. But let's look at the scalp action. Hold on, let me let me see. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, wait a minute. 
Yo, please let me know down below if you already tried this hack after you saw it in my last video. Let me know because honey, we are, we're serving scalp on a platter. Let me, let me stop acting like I don't got a, a comb. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. If you're as excited as I am, let me know. Yeah, y'all. We got some scalp action going on. I think this is going to look even more realistic when it dries. Y'all, look at that. Tell me that's not my scalp. Are we serious right now? Like, <gasps> yo. Let me just style this real quick and then I'll come back with my thoughts. All right, y'all, so I am back and let's talk about this fake scalp, okay? So, this is what it's looking like. And I think it looks like scalp, especially compared to what it looked like before. Yeah. It, it, it's definitely giving me a scalp vibe. This time around, compared to my seven wig hacks video, I do like the color of this fake scalp more. I think it looks more like my scalp versus before, which had that orange tint. That was because of the powder I was using. Here's some things to keep in mind. When you're making the fake scalp, you know, I use foundation and I like the color payoff of that. If I had a powder that color, I would have used that. So either you can use a foundation that's liquid or you can use a powder but as you can see using my foundation color you see how the scalp color ended up coming out right it, it was still a light color so keep that in mind like you may think using a darker color is gonna make the scalp look like maybe too dark but you may be surprised like it's it's probably gonna end up looking lighter than you expect I'm gonna still continue playing around with the colors just to see what I get when I try different combinations but I like this combination. Now I will say this fake scalp on a frontal hack, it is a little advanced, okay? Because I definitely realized that bringing it towards the hairline, you gotta be careful because you don't want that line demarcation, which I definitely have now due to me bringing the, the fake scalp to the front. However, I think there is a way to alleviate that. You would need to make two different fake scalp colors. So you would have a certain color paste for the scalp back here and then you would make a different color paste for the scalp towards the front near your forehead I'm gonna experiment with that too and if y'all want to see me come back on camera and try this again I'm more than happy to if that's what you want to see but overall I like the way it came out I think it looks I think it looks really natural the scalp I, I like it to alleviate some of the demarcation I was getting in the front I just used my um contour stick by black radiance and i just kept dabbing it and dabbing it and yeah this is what we have right here my widow's peak is peeking out a little bit don't mind that but oh, i'm pleased with this process i think it's a lot of fun to do you know we're not aiming for perfection here we're just trying something out trying something new following up with y'all because a lot of y'all really wanted to know more about the fake scalp hack shout outs to Haley marie on youtube because watching her video definitely helped me out as far as julianne she's a beautiful lovely full gorgeous textured unit only thing i noticed is that and this applies to kinky straight textures it doesn't matter if it's synthetic or human it's just hard to hold the curl like these curls are already starting to fall as I've been running my fingers through them. So just keep that in mind. Not a deal breaker though. I still think she is very holiday ready. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what y'all think about this whole experiment with the fake scalp hack. Let me know. I'm just like, like look at this y'all. <laughs> I can't wait to play around with this some more because honey, I'm trying to make these knots disappear. You hear me? <laughs> And also, do you prefer Julianne in the middle or on the side? Because of the bangs, I was really feeling the side, but I think, you know, I'm a middle part kind of girl, so. Hmm. I might keep her like this. We'll see. <laughs> and if you're new here, tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Y'all, I'm so excited because we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. The Is That Your Hair family is growing and glowing, honey, and I'm so pleased. If you're new and you made this far, come join the fun. For all of you that have been watching with me in the premiere party, 
I love y'all. Thank y'all so, so much. I am going to be a little MIA on YouTube this week because my birthday is coming up on December 22nd. Cannot wait. But I will be documenting my travels on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Is that your hair with three R's? And yeah, I'm just so excited. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday season. And even if you are having a hard time this holiday season, please know that I'm sending you so much love during this time. And I really hope that you make it through in the best way that you can. If you want to see more of me, check out some of my latest videos. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.